tabula rasa. We are born a blank slate of mind. We are born innocent. We are naturally born good, playful, and curious. As the empty cup was slowly poured by the hot jasmine tea ready to be served, so is our mind and our spirit. It is the nature of every soul experiencing childhood. As a child, our existence is gradually filling with the spirit of joy, fun, excitement, and innocence. As a child, we love to play like there's no tomorrow. There's no stress except on how to play with our friends during siesta time when our parents force us to sleep. There's no anxiety except on how to tell our crushes that we like them. There's no deadlines except when you didn't manage to catch the catcher in hide and seek. There's no problem except when you didn't receive the Christmas gift and birthday gifts from your aunts and uncles. It is so good to be a child. Everything seems so fine, everything is fantastic, everything is wonderful, everything is amazing. Yet the younger generations today didn't see the privilege that they have as a child. As we grow up, the child within us starts to fade. The word of fun, excitement, and innocence begin to fade. Our simplest pleasures and desires start to complicate and as we strive harder to achieve it, we ended up achieving nothing. The community around us whom we viewed as friendly and loving is not actually friendly at all but it is judgmental and savage. If you don't fit within your society, you will be considered as a reject or an alien, and because of this, you will suffer the merciless verdict of this physical world. It's the hardest part of growing up. Stress and anxiety is now corrupting our joyous days. Deadlines are not just a yellow line anymore, but a competition to win in order to live comfortably. If you can't pass the papers before the deadline, life will severely punish your procrastination. Problems are like river. It never stops flowing, no matter how dry the season is. When we manage to find solutions to our problems, Another one comes in and comes and comes and stacks itself up until the problem will seem so unresolvable. Our empty cup is not empty anymore, but instead of hot and delicious jasmine tea, we are pouring our cups with deadly poison clothed as an antidote. We drink more dosage of it in hopes of stopping the pressures of life brought to us by growing up, but more we do not know that the more we drink from this cup, the more we put ourselves in the blades of death and regret. Why do we even pressure ourselves to be the adult that we strive to be? Aren't we satisfied with the life that we have right now? Isn't the beauty of the day fulfills our desires to live? This is the hardest part of living this life. Just as the death never satisfy with a dead in his belly and desires for more, so is our life. We never satisfied with what we have and desires for more. We are constantly in pressure of either making decision or perish. The question is, who told you to have to make decisions or you will suffer this life? Is it the people around you, or is it the thing that you told to yourself? With all these things in mind, we unconsciously hurt our inner child and we may experience regret for pursuing adulthood than enjoying our younger years. 
you do not have to make decisions and complicate them. Life is simple and short. Learn to live like tomorrow is your death. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't think about working for your family or your dreams. And it doesn't mean that you should be a childish guy. Being childish and awakening your inner child are two different things. It simply means that we should do our task and responsibilities as an adult and at the same time embracing the mentality of a child who doesn't worry about the past or the future. The child who has a playful spirit and doesn't worry about anything. The child that simply wakes up in the morning and sleeps at night in peace and serenity. It simply means that we shouldn't take life too serious. This is the right time to relive the experiences of being a child. The time is now and it's never too late to live like a child. And with that said, here are the amazing ways to awaken your inner child. Number one is be excited. We usually feel excited when something great is coming our way. The excitement of showing to your parents your new PlayStation, or the excitement of the upcoming field trips and beach parties. Imagine and embrace the thrill of that moment. Then practice to reinforce that excitement in our daily lives. Imagine the excitement of waking up in the morning. The excitement of doing something productive yet not forced each day. The excitement of going home and meeting up with your family again and many more. Live your day with excitement like everything is a new experience. Be happy and contented with the small things you have. Remember that no matter how amazing things you have in your day, if you're not grateful, it's no use. So being excited with all the things around you and all the things that you have may awaken the simplest smile your inner child always wants you to do every single day. Number two, believe in impossibilities magic and miracles we are bombarded with scientific revolution all around us research and evidence is the big part of our daily lives we are constantly in need to prove everything if it does work or not but did you remember the times when your parents told you about the tales of old the magic of true love's kiss the miracle on 24th street and the polar express where good children have the opportunity to ride a train to the icy paradise of midnight poles imagine the chilling experiences we have we didn't even told ourselves if these stories and experiences are true yet when we relive those stories we constantly dream of experiencing them too as an adult we don't need to be rational at all times. Sometimes all we need is a little sparkle of our wildest fantasies when we were just a child and relieve them. Let's cherish the sweetest moments of those experiences and embrace them. Number 3. Be a natural silly and playful. Embrace your inner child by being silly and playful to the people around you that most adults don't. Having a spirit of playfulness and silliness will give you the different feeling of energy throughout your day. We already forgot the feeling of this energy a long time ago, together with our adulthood stages. And with this adulthood, we replace our joy and excitement with stress and anxiety. By being playful, it lets you forget the stress and anxiety that plagues your existence. Tease your workmate for a while, laugh with your friends like something funny has been said, dance with your younger sister or niece, and play with your younger brother or nephew. 
there comes the point that some people will judge you and look down on you for being so weird and childish but don't mind them. There comes a day in our lives that we shouldn't care about what other people might say to us, especially if it's not beneficial, and that day is today. Be happy now and play like Finn the Human and Jake the Dog. Every day should always feel like adventure time. Number 4. Live Outside the Box Throughout the years, we shielded and covered ourselves with embarrassment and humiliation from the society we lived in. Doing something unique or different from others will surely receive negative feedbacks from the people. And because of that, we told ourselves never to do different things to fit in the society and to avoid being judged. It doesn't have to be like this all the time. Not all the times, the people will dictate what is normal and what is not, what is funny and what is corny, what is good for you and what is better for you. You own your life, you're the captain of your ship and these people are your crewmates. It's time for you to decide whether to live in this island full of cave people or sail your ship and venture across the wide ocean to find a better place to live. Be like the child who possess an inhibited attitude towards challenges. They do things and never think if they will fail or not. They just do it because it is it. They enjoyed it. Live outside the boring box of ordinary and explore the beauty of the mystic possibilities. Number 5 is Love Unconditionally As a child, we love everyone and we hate for a little while. But with a little sorry and invitation to play, this hate fades and love takes over. This is one of the amazing things only children possess. Together with their innocence, they love everyone without any hopes of love in return from their families, their neighbors, friends, pets and animals, magical experiences, and everything that exists around them. At some point in our lives, we loved like this too, but because of our society, our ability to love is now possible in a safe distance where no one could intentionally hurt us. Even for a moment, embrace this amazing ability of the child. Learn to love with no hopes of loving back in return. We didn't say that you love the one who constantly hurts you and leave you broken, but love the one who hurts you as well because everybody deserves to be loved no matter who they are and what they are. Reclaim your ability to love unconditionally, even if it's just for a moment. Always remember that awakening your inner child doesn't mean you're being immature or childish. You're still the matured adult that you'd always be, but with this, it can heal the pain of your past experiences as you grow old and handle the future with less thinking and more self-compassion. Since we're awakening, the sleeping part of our soul, living with our inner child is a whole new way to experience unconditional sense of joy and wonder. Thus, it can also be considered as a form of self-care. Remember that at the end of the day, we'll all grow old, and no amount of discrimination and humiliation can lessen the force of aging. So why not be happy now? Why not relive the joyful you way back when you were younger? Do you want to awaken your inner child? Do you want to feel the thrill and magic of the little girl or little boy within you? Do you want to add some more insights about awakening the inner child within? Let us know in the comments section down below. And don't forget to share this video to anyone you know whom you think needs to awaken his or her inner child.
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell if you want to see more amazing contents like this. Thank you so much for watching this video and as always, learn to love the wisdom.